Hello everyone, we hope you've enjoyed our story, What the Ladybird Heard, and now it's time for you to become your own author and storyteller. So if you go to your home learning packs and have a look, inside there should be some finger puppets that you can make into these characters here. So I've got my characters ready, turn your listening ears on, I'm going to make up some of my own stories to give you some ideas of what you can do today. Once upon a time there was a pig and a dog who lived on a farm and the farmer was in charge of the pig and the dog they were the best of friends one day the farmer went to the shop and bought a cat suddenly the cat wanted to play with the pig and the dog and they also became the best of friends then the next day, Mrs. Robinson came to the farm and she wanted to play with the pig, the dog and the cat. But they told Mrs. Robinson that she couldn't play. Mrs. Robinson was feeling a little bit sad. So she went off to play with the farmer. They had lots of fun. The pig the dog and the cat saw Mrs. Robinson and the farmer having lots of fun and they wanted to go and all play together. Mrs. Robinson and the farmer said that they could play and they all lived happily ever after. The end. So that's one example of a story that you could tell. Here is another this time I've decided to use some props for my storytelling. I've got a farm and the farmhouse. Maybe you could grab some bits from around your house and you could build the story as well, just like we do in our small world area. So here we go, here's my story. Once upon a time there was a farmer called Mr Robinson and the farmer's wife called Mrs Robinson. They lived happily in their farmhouse. They had lots of animals on their farm. They had a pig, a cat and a dog. The farmer, Mr Robinson, came out all day long and looked after his animals. He gave them lots of food and made sure that they had lots of time outside in the fields. After a very long day, Mr Robinson, the farmer, went back inside and him and his wife went to bed. They were very tired. The animals were outside and they went into their pen in their field. They had the fences. So there's the pig, the dog and the cat, all of them in their field. It was very late at night and it was very dark. Suddenly, Hefty Hugh came along and tried to pinch the dog. The dog started barking, woof, woof. And the cat started meowing, meow. And the pig started oinking, oink, oink. They made lots and lots of noise. And it woke up Mr and Mrs Robinson, the farmer and the farmer's wife. They came running out of their house. And that scared Hefty Hugh away. All of the animals and the farmer and his wife lived happily ever after. The end. So boys and girls, why don't you have a go at telling some stories with all of your characters? Cut them out and build them into finger puppets so they can fit on top of your finger. Or you could just stand them up on the table. See if you could get some things to be props in your story. You could build some houses or you could build your own farm and see if you can act out a brand new story. Try and use the special story language once upon a time suddenly and happily ever after at the end. Have fun and see if you can send us some videos of your stories. We can't wait to see them. Bye!